Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US debt reversed there on Wednesday overnight and has now bounced off that potential broken resistance, now acting as potential support at 16.598. Now, if I have a quick look there at the UK 100, uh, a kind of similar uh, kind of picture, but we were trying to push up that little bit higher this morning and um, looks like we are very close again on the UK 100 to breaking uh, or getting through fresh all-time highs there as well. But I need to go all the way back here onto monthly chart to really get a bit of a flavor about where, where we are. Uh, oh, for matter of fact, not an all-time high chart, but certainly from the year 2000. As you can see there, uh, close to 7,000 is the level to, uh, to to beat. In fact, I need to add that onto my, onto my chart there just now. We are not a huge distance away from there just now, but I'm sure if the FTSE does break through, uh, that level that will be significant going forward. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect right there. So if we have a look at there at Japan 225, um, you can see it's bounced off potential support at 14219. Still on a downtrend right here. I can see the dollar yen came off a little bit yesterday, but slowly trickling back up again. As ever, 14219 looks strategic in the very short term. So looking at then uh, dollar yen. So dollar yen has, has been bouncing around here for a little while. Uh, it hasn't been breaking up that much higher. I'm just going to add this extra level of support around about 101.35. We are making this kind of, you, got, you do have a kind of a triangle formation right here, um, which I do need to actually draw on here, I think, uh, if you are taking these tips. This could be a, a kind of a descending triangle formation. We're either going to break lower below 101 spot 35, or we're hopefully going to get a move above 102 spot 87 at some point soon. And um, whichever direction that seems to break out might give us a little bit more uh, indication as to the future direction of, of dollar yen. But right now, while we're trading in the middle of the triangle there, it's going to be a narrowing range that will continue to get tight, tighter as time goes on. So then having a look at West Texas, uh, what I actually have to do here is have a quick look at my last piece of analysis that I've done on here. Um, just so we can update all that. And uh, as you can see, we actually touched quite close to 103 spot, uh, 103 dollars. Um, and it just post the graveyard doji formation on there. Now we actually had our um, crude oil inventories that came out uh, yesterday. They actually, uh, it came out at quite a decent figure, but the market um, kind of pushed up and then kind of uh, sold off again uh, on the back of those oil inventory numbers uh, showing an increase of um, of storage of crude, crude oil distillate, so um, quite an interesting day there on crude oil, but it's paused there pretty much at 102, uh, and hopefully we'll get a rechallenge of 103 again soon to see if we can break up to get close to 105 dollars. But this candlestick formation here is not perfect um, if you're a, if you're bullish on uh, West Texas crude, as um, Usually this is a sign of a potential reversal, but it will all depend on the fundamentals and how that continues on. So that's where we are with crude oil. If we then have a quick look at gold, um, gold is again wrong right side of uh, 1295, struggling to break through 55 period SMA. Ideally you want to retest the 1332, which is the next potential resistance. Um, we are still making a pattern of lower highs here. We need to get a break and close above this 55 period SMA, which has been a cap for uh, for most of uh, the end of April and the start of May. Now looking at FX, very volatile sessions that we've seen so far. I can see here on my other on my other chart, day day charts, your dollars is selling off aggressively this morning, um, and uh, there are there is news out today in the Financial Times and other financial websites that the ECB is readying. Um, a package basically to cut rates in, in the Eurozone. Now people have been talking about this for months and months and months and they've never done it but it seems to be the closest it has ever been uh, for their next meeting. Um, now that's not today incidentally but uh, as you can see there there is a lot of selling on your dollar. I can see there's a lot of selling on cable as well. So very aggressive self. I think this is probably changing the course of dollar yen slightly. Um, not dollar yen, sorry, euro dollar. Um, to have this aggressive sell-off and to have that major piece of fundamentals coming in about this ECB rate cut, um, it could it could cause a little bit further pressure on this FX pair. Uh, but we'll just have to see how that how that pans out. But it uh, could be a game changer depending if if and when they do it. So I'll have a quick look then at cable. This is again a quite an ugly series of candles on here, and sterling was doing so well, and that was in the back of um, an ECB statement yesterday, and uh, not ECB, uh, your um, Bank of England. Uh, 
came out with a, a statement around uh, their monetary policy and interest rates, and it was very, very dovish, surprisingly dovish, considering that most traders out there thought that out of all of the European countries, that the sterling was going to be one of the first ones to actually raise rates. Um, but the comments yesterday were very dovish, and as you can see, the sell has been quite pronounced. We were actually about to post a bullish engulfing pattern, and it completely reversed course uh, around about midday yesterday. And now we're retesting potential support at 67.44. Um, in regards to economic announcements, we do, we've already had um, GDP over in Germany, uh, which came out slightly better than expected. Um, but then later on today at 10, we do have um, CPI and GDP and the Eurozone. And then we've got uh, CPI in the US and jobless claims as well. So your dollar could be quite interesting if it wasn't for the fact it's completely dominated by this potential ECB rate cut package that's being put together right now. So I don't think it really matters that much how the economic data comes out today because the markets are already making the decision that it's going to happen and that's adding pressure. Keep your eye on the chart forum um, from updates from our global analyst team as ever. And remember, insights uh, will give you valu valuable um, kind of contributions from our global analyst team about what's moving the markets today. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.